All right. Ethan, you want to get started? Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Pablo, appreciate your time. Yep, absolutely. Uh, good to see you, too, after a, a longer than normal off season. Um, last year, you guys started the season really, really strong, had a lot of wins, a lot of points on the board. Um, how do you feel like you, uh, I guess, what, in what way do you guys expect to start replicating that this year and start the season strong? Well, I, the, I mean, the only indication I can give you is the work that we're doing now. And um, there's a sense of urgency in the group. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of young players in from college, um, a lot of players, not a lot, but a few players that uh, haven't joined the team yet um, and still looking to possibly bring in one or two others. So the, the important thing for me um, is to always focus and put all of my energy along with the staff uh, into the players that we currently have. And, and uh, our target right now is the first game and everything we're doing now is is looking forward to that first game in Vancouver. And uh, although you can't you know, win the tournament in the first part of the season, you can definitely put yourself in an unfavorable position. Um, and as you rightly pointed out last year, our start was what kept us in the hunt t towards the end. Pretty successful uh, scrimmage against LAFC this, this last weekend, um, winning 2-0. Um, you had mentioned, I believe, a few weeks ago that Rubio Rabin and Danny Masovsky were two guys that had really caught your eye, looked very sharp in preseason. Is there anybody specifically from that scrimmage that, that may have caught your eye? Yeah, well, Danny hasn't yet joined us. He's been hampered by an injury, but him and Anderson uh, were, have been really sharp up front. Um, you know, to be honest, it, it, again, I, I think what I think defines this group is, is how we play as a collective. You know, if everyone does their job, um, I think we'll always be in, in a position to be able to win games. And, and that's something that I've been harping on positionally, um, positional responsibilities and roles. And, and, um, and that was really the focus of this game. That's what we wanted to get out of this game. And, and what I keep saying to the guys is, um, if we don't play our roles within the structure, then we can never fix the structure. We're always left trying to fix the player. And so, um, and, and I think in doing that this weekend, they, they felt that they worked less um, they occupied better positions. Uh, we, we were able to, you know, create some really good chances on goal. Um, and so I think that, that, so to answer your question, who looked bright, I think everyone, I think the team looked bright. Um, you know, I think Bertin had, had a really nice play that, that got the first goal, but there was probably, you know, three or four other really, really good chances that we didn't capitalize on, which is expected at this point in the season. Um, but I thought everyone, the younger players looked really bright. I think the, the, the veteran players uh, did a really good job of, of, of leading on the field. And so as a collective, I think the team played well, really well. Very vocal and uh, experienced player in Aaron Herrera leads in the off season. Um, I, I know there's a few guys in the locker room that, that have a lot of experience, a lot of leadership qualities. Who do you expect to kind of replace his leadership uh, in the locker room this year? Well, I'd say, you know, it's, it's the same guys that, that have been doing it for a while. Guys like, you know, uh, Justin Glad, Dami, um, Zach McMath, uh, Miram, Marcelo Silva. Uh, you know, I think that, you know, and, and I think Brody has had uh, obviously two of his best campaigns as, as a young player and with each campaign has, has achieved more and more for himself and, and really helped the group in the process. And so, again, I think we have a good leadership group. And, um, and more importantly, I think the guys that we've brought in are really humbled young men who want nothing more than to help the team by they themselves improving every day. And so I think the culture of the group is in a great place. Um, and, and that really will guide the group forward. Um, obviously, it's a long season and um, a lot of attrition. How do you expect to try and manage health, um, injuries, and depth? going out, uh, going throughout this year? Yeah, I think that's going to be more as we go. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's real easy to, to give you um, something now, but I guarantee you that I'd be trumping everything I say at this moment. Um, we want guys that are fit, guys that are sharp. Um, and like I said, there's quite a few players that haven't even joined the camp yet. Um, the most important thing for those guys, and, and I think Rubio is a good example of last year. If you don't have a proper preseason, you are chasing the season. This is where you do all, this is where you lay the foundation for the tactical work, the fitness work, the strength work that will carry you through the season. 
if you know if guys end up coming later and later, it's going to really uh, retard their ability to get into the group in a way that will help us move forward. Thanks, fellas. Lucas. Sorry. Uh, just trying to start my recording. Pablo, uh, we spoke to Kurt Smith last week. He mentioned uh, potentially bringing in another defensive player, a player in the attack. Are there any specific areas that you'd like to strengthen in this roster? No, I think one thing that um, that you know, when I speak, when Kurt speaks, those are all conversations that, that are aligned from top to bottom. They're not one-off conversations. Um, those are two areas that, that, that we've identified that we definitely need some reinforcement. Um, at the moment, we don't have a, a, a signed uh, backup left back. Um, we're looking for some depth in the center of defense uh, with a bit of experience and, and uh, obviously uh, fill in the gap that uh, was left when Sergio was gone. So um, those are obvious areas that we feel um, could bolster the group and provide some good depth and competition in those in those pieces. But uh, I think those are those are the, the the areas that. So I agree with Kurt that those are the areas that we we need to fill. Do you feel like I guess specifically at that center forward position with uh, Rubio getting a full preseason, Demir being back, uh, even perhaps uh, Anderson? Do you feel like those guys could? do a job for a whole season uh, at center forward? Well, you know, I think Rubio in 2021 was, was our guy um, and started off really bright and scored a, quite a few goals at the beginning of the season and then kind of cooled off. But what Rubio brought were all the intangibles. He led the press. He, his link-up play was great. His hold-up play was great. Um, and he's a competitor, and he works really hard for the group. Um, and, and so when you start scoring goals and you add that, I mean, I think he's, he's done it for us. Anderson's a guy that we've usually used as a, uh, a guy coming into games um, and has been really bright. We're trying to push him to, to push his limits and stretch him a bit to be a guy that can have more 90 minute performances to help and, and alleviate some of the, the pressure up front. You know, Dami's a guy that uh, we're, we, we want to slowly integrate, um, but he continues to exceed expectations from a fitness perspective. And, and, and he's been really, really sharp. So, you know, I think, um, it's a position where in the short term, I think we can manage, but if you're talking the course of the season, we definitely need to provide uh, a bit more depth and in, in competition in that area to keep everything sharp. Um, so kind of two follow-ups to what you said. Uh, the first being, you know, Dami got a half hour on Saturday. Like, how did he, how did he look to you throughout the game and how was he doing, you know, a couple days post? Uh, yeah, days? yeah. Um, again, he had a an ankle sprain the week before and so wasn't able to do a little scrimmage. Um, we had a inter squad scrimmage the week before, wasn't able to do that. So we didn't know, initially we thought maybe 15 minutes against uh, LAFC, but he, as the week progressed, he felt better and better. And so we said, w w let's, let's do 30. And to be fair, he could have done 45. As far as his actions, they look really sharp. We're asking Dami to, to again, stretch his abilities and, and, and what he's comfortable doing and, and running in behind. And there was a play where uh, it was it was a really close offsides call where he broke in behind the defense, and so trying to be multi-functional, multi-dimensional in the different roles that we're asking some of the guys to, to again to try to improve on the area we feel we can make big, the biggest gains, which is scoring goals, um, which was evident when Dami was with the group in 2021, and so he looked really bright. His positioning was really good, um, and he had two really solid chances uh, to, to score. And so I think if we uh, continue on this trend. I feel like Dami will be in a great position uh, game one. Um, and then my other follow-up was, Anderson really is just such a, I don't know, it's a fascinating player in that he has been incredible coming off the bench, but has struggled a lot more when starting. Um, what does he need to do to kind of get to that next level to be a guy who can be an impact from minute one? That, that's a good question. I, I think it's twofold. One, I think it's um, his physical body, um, what we've learned with Anderson in the time that uh, he's been here is uh, once he's asked to play a certain amount of minutes over successive weeks, he always comes up with some kind of muscle injury, right? So he had an off-season program to strengthen uh, certain areas of his body. I think the other part is fitness. Um, he's a real fast twitch player. Um, they only have so many fast twitch dynamic actions before they start to fill with with lactate uh, which hampers his ability to last long periods of time and so if we can get the, the physical part right along with the fitness part 
um, I, I think we'll be in position to be able to utilize him a bit more. And to this point, he's been he's been really bright. So the two guys, Rubio and and and, um, and, and Dami, and Rubio, Dami, and Ando have all been really really bright this preseason. Thanks, Pablo. Okay. I guess. Thanks.